Ladies and gentlemen, the stock market crash has officially begun. Nobody really seems to realize this. A lot of people don't realize this. I should say a great many people understand what's going on. A lot of people don't. And I'm doing these segments, and they're not very popular now. Unfortunately, they will be very popular, or you know, people will gravitate towards them because it'll be the only thing media talks about within the next couple of months. Fund manager Jerry, Jeremy Grantham stock super bubble will pop. S&P 500 will plunge 45%. He stated also something like 50%. And you look today, the Dow is down again. It's probably going to end down a couple hundred points. It could end up. Bitcoin is down below 40,000. It's on its way to 20, 000, it's on its way to 10,000. The Dow Jones is on its way close to 20,000. We're going to see a devastating stock market crash. Why? Because of Biden's policies and the policies of Democrats. Explainer, why is Biden halting federal oil and gas sales? Well, you might say, well, what does that have to do with the stock market crash? Fossil fuels, oil, gas, coal are at record highs in terms of price and demand. We might see oil at $200 per barrel. We'll probably see it at over $100 per barrel. You have to understand if inflation is well over 7%, probably closer to 15%, because the consumer price index... And the way the Fed calculates inflation, it does not include food and energy prices and costs. So according to Peter Schiff, if the CPI was calculated the way it was in 1982, you'd be looking at a, an inflation rate of 15% below in the, in, the, in the comments section. Give me your thoughts. What do you think the inflation rate is? I read the comments. I have the best comment section in all of YouTube. What do you think the inflation, the true inflation rate is? Because they say 6.8, 7.2%, something along that. It's a lot more than that. It's a lot more than that. So give me your thoughts below. I talked about this in October of last year. I wrote about this in The Federalist. Okay? You can read my writing in The Federalist, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Hill, other publications, The Roanoke Times, The Times of Israel. You can go to hagoodman.com, see my writing, read my writing there, see my debates. But I wrote about this in October of 2021. Why are Democrats hurtling the United States towards a stock market crash? I explained, ladies and gentlemen, just like I explained last segment, uh, I will do a segment on Alec Baldwin and some other topics later today. But I did explain, ladies and gentlemen, that when you end economic activity and you push to end economic activity like Democrats did and media did in, well, two years ago to the day almost. Well, it'll be two years to the day in, a co in, in March. We had record low unemployment, President Trump presided over because of his policies, an amazing economy, okay? Now we have an economy with inflation that's runaway, rampant. The Federal Reserve has to raise interest rates, so we're stuck with two scenarios. Either the Fed raises interest rates and tries to curb inflation, that tanks the market, which we're seeing now. Or inflation runs rampant and the Federal Reserve doesn't raise interest rates fast enough. And inflation tanks the market and the economy. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Share this segment everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very important segment. I'll put the links below. This is basically the official start of the stock market crash under Biden's presidency. Mashed potato brains is already the worst pre one of the worst presidents ever definitely the worst president of my lifetime i can't there's one maybe one accomplishment i can i can say that he's 
presided over. Other than that, the economy is in a tailspin. And you look right here, <clears throat> fund manager Jeremy Grantham's stock super bubble will pop. The super bubble was created, ladies and gentlemen, by Democrats and media because of an apoplectic, hysterical, completely irrational, irresponsible, counterproductive reaction to you-know-what. It wasn't you-know-what that tanked the economy. It was the reaction. It was how we responded as a country to you-know-what, and it wasn't Trump's fault. More people lost their lives under mashed potato brains Biden. Okay, well, I'm not going to get into it because, you know, we just can't talk too much about it. That's another problem with what's going on in the country, pushed by Democrats and media. Anyway, famed investor Jeremy Grantham said that, uh, Thursday that the stock market is in a super bubble and he expects the S&P to plunge 45% from current levels to a mark around 2,500, 2,500. So, I mean, this man has been predicting stock market crashes. He's accurately also predicted this one. I predicted this one as well. Obviously, I'm not <laughs> I'm not Jeremy Grantham. He is a brilliant investor, knows infinitely more than I do about the stock market and economics and investing. But I did write my article in The Federalist in October. I'm telling everybody. I know that people watch these, very few people watch these segments. You know, uh, I, I get more views uh, on other topics, a lot more views, but it's very important. If you're watching, share this segment everywhere because I'm telling everyone, Bitcoin's going to get to 10,000. The Dow will probably get closer to 20,000. I don't know if it'll hit 20,000, but it'll get some, somewhere around 24, 25, 20, maybe 23, 22, something like that. And people are not going to want to speculate with cryptocurrency uh, and they're not going to want to speculate. You know, the stock market is tanking. Consumer confidence is at a you know decades low. Retail sales were were missed by a lot. Job creation missed by a lot. And you look, what what is Biden focused on? Fact sheet. <clears throat> Biden sets. 2030 greenhouse gas pollution reduction target aimed at creating good-paying union jobs. This is one of the reasons why he's one of the worst presidents of all time. If you want to focus on climate change, don't do it with a struggling economy. How hard is that to understand? I'm not even debating with Bill. I'm not debating Bill Nye or the climate change um, advocates or the people who view it as a religion. Fine, it's a serious issue. I agree. It could possibly be an existential issue years and years and years from now. We don't know when, but years from now. But do you do you start with an obsession over climate change when you've tanked the U.S. economy and caused fossil fuels to be at all-time highs? Does that make any sense? Has anyone on the left asked why gas prices, uh, you know, fuel prices, oil, natural gas, coal, why are they at all-time highs? <clears throat> why are they at all-time highs? And why, why, why are there options for $200 per barrel oil? <laughs> Which would be absolutely, it would cause a depression. And so these articles, these articles will be below in the description section. Share this segment everywhere. The policies of Democrats caused this. And today is, we've had a negative, terrible week in the stock market. This is just the beginning. It is officially started. Under Joe Biden's presidency, this stock market has officially begun the crash. Now, I know a lot of people don't believe it. When I say that Bitcoin's going to get to 10,000 and the Dow's going to get to 20,000, people don't care, or they just yawn, or they roll their eyes, and they don't care. Share this segment with people who might not care, and even if you don't 
really see this happening. Please share this segment. If you want to support my work, my Patreon is below. I will have a live stream tonight at around 7, 8, maybe 9 p.m. Pacific. Thanks, everybody. The stock market crash has officially begun. Thank you.